Cheers, bastards. It is some Belgian pepper, and today we're going to talk about the importance of spices, herbs, and sauces for your stockpile as a prepper. But before that, some little self promotion. If you're interested in two uh, detective stories, it's uh, called Bloody Crosses. It's the first of an 11 part series, and if you're interested in it, take a look in the description down below. Um, so let's get on with the video. Um, spices, herbs, and sauces. Why would this be important for, for preppers? Well, it's because of a mistake that a lot of preppers make, including myself when I started prepping, and that was I was more looking for the survival in calories. So what, is, what does this mean? Uh, it means that I bought bags and bags and bags of rice, pasta, um, and some other basic food groups and that I have that I will foresee in my calories. But the problem is it will taste bland. Yeah, it's you have your food, yeah, you will survive, but it, uh, if it's bland food, it could lead to a, to a major problem. And that, is, uh, pro that problem is called food fatigue. Uh, food fatigue is something that happens when you eat a long, ta long time of the, cert of the same food type. So uh, a lot of people underestimate this problem. Um, if, uh, imagine if you only eat rice, be uh, rice after rice after rice, day in, day out. Even if you like rice at a certain point, if you only eat that, most people will suffer to food fatigue. And even when they are hungry, when they are starving, that could lead to nausea and some dislike and stress, uh, stress and such to a point that you will start to vomit the food out. And that is a very underestimated problem. But there is a simple solution to that. And that is, like I said before, spices, herbs and sauces. And the thing is, if uh, most people will think, ah, uh, herbs, that's not an exciting topic for prepping. Well, but it's an important one. I have here several oh, spices, uh, herbs and sauces. And the thing is, it's not only for the for the taste of the, of the food. Some herbs and some spices have some medicinal benefits that I will talk within a minute. And yeah, you know what? Let's uh, start with it. So... In my opinion, what are the things, the spices and the herbs and the salts that somebody would have, which need in their stockpile? Uh, I would all, I would first say get so try to try to grow, uh, try to have a garden or try to learn to forage for herbs, spices uh, in your local area or in your garden. If you can make your own herbs, you have a certain control in what you will make. It will be fresh, and if you can learn to forage, you can try to look for herbs in everywhere even if you're on a bug out uh, say that uh, speaking after that uh, if you're going to stockpile for a bug in situation i would advise to get some of the next spices that will that are not only beneficial on a medical medicinal way but also tasty with several with almost with most of the dishes that you can make with what you have in your pantry so what do we have uh, we will start from one to one uh, pepper yeah uh, pepper it's uh, obviously try to try to uh, keep what i prefer to do is if you're going most people will make the mistake to buy in big uh, bags or pots or glass jars with uh, certain types of herbs but the problem is if you do that and you open it once yeah there is a lot of herbs and spices that are now contaminated with air and are more prone to get rancid or get bad. So I would advise to do something like uh, try to buy in small pots. Uh, that way you have still some pots that are vacuum sealed or in some other way that you can uh, and, uh, stock, uh, stockpile them for a long term while you use a small portion of them without the risk of uh, make the... Make, uh, make the other pots uh, rancid. So that's uh, just a small tip for your herbs. So uh, black pepper uh, goes in a lot of boil soups and such. Uh, next, uh, canel, uh, canel. Yeah, I will, I will say it in my own language, but uh, you will probably know what I mean. Canel, uh, that's good for uh, if you have something like 
uh, milk powder and such for uh, yeah for more dessert uh, dessert and cake like uh, things that you want to make uh persil persil is a uh, very good for the health uh next thing uh garlic powder is this is a very important one in my opinion it's not only very tasty in almost every dish in my opinion but it's also very healthy a garlic is one of those plants that have a lot of medicinal benefits so garlic powder uh keep make sure that you will keep it into your stockpile uh next thing uh Turmeric, I think it's called turmeric in English. This is also something very important to keep in your stockpile because turmeric has can uh, has some beneficial uh, medicinal uh, benefits to your heart and to your uh, to your uh, intestines uh, for the food product uh, for the breaking of the food. So yeah, uh, turmeric very very important and it's also very tasty, especially when you when you have stockpile corn. That you can turn into popcorn if you have, have with a little bit of uh, oil some some uh, uh, maize or how do you say this corn maize i don't know what the uh, most uh, used english word is but if you do that and you make popcorn put some uh, turmeric on it and that way you have a little bit of a healthy snack and it's also a medicinal benefit uh, oregano also good for your health uh, rosemary also very healthy very tasty especially with meat uh, in my opinion basilicum also yet again medicinal very tasty especially if you stockpile a lot of pasta and uh, pasta like uh, food types so that is very excellent for that uh, time is also yet again very beneficial for the for the health and that's our the most uh, benefit uh, the, how do you say this medicinal benefits now there are some other types uh, some uh, chicken uh, herbs if we if we like to call them something a little bit spicy but yet again some different kind of spices so it fits with all types of uh, uh, food groups and you can stockpile this for a very very long time even when it's open actually uh, and now we get to the hot stuff literally because uh, this is some uh, piments uh, that you will that you can spice your uh, almost every dish with, and to be honest, I will talk about this in a minute. So I will put this back here. Some pili pili flakes, uh, yeah, of course, for uh, to spice things up. Cayenne pepper, also yet again for to spice things up, and as another benefit that I will name in within a minute. Of course, salt, salt, yeah, salt is. Obvious, so ivory pepper should have salt, and not only for the food to to make the food not bland, but also for your electro electrolytes. If you're going on a long term uh, bug out, and you will probably sweat a lot, and that's uh, good for your health. If you take these, uh, mix it with uh, some of your water, so that you will get your electrolytes back onto the level. And of course, for preserving meat and to pickle things. So buy a lot, buy a lot of salt. I would say. Uh, I would say look into my videos on how to preserve meat. You will see the benefits of that. And now we get to the sauces. Uh, the first sauce I want to name is uh, Sambal Ulek. Uh, yeah, yet again, this is something... The thing about sauces is these things you cannot preserve for long uh, as the dry spices. But even if this is uh, by, by date gone, it still has a benefit that we'll talk about right now, together with the cayenne pepper and the piments. So, uh, even if you have some uh, mashed, uh, uh, how do you say this, hot uh, hot sauce made out of uh, Carolina Reapers. Uh, by the way, one tip to make this uh, last, this uh, very, very, very hot sauce make last longer is put some olive oil on the top so it gives a protective layer, layer against oxygen and you will be able to preserve this for much longer. So what you can do with these things, even when they are by date or not good for consumption anymore, you can make your own improvised pepper spray with this. Just mix it with water, some uh, alcohol, all and uh, sambal ulek sauce with uh, some cayenne pepper or piments, one of these. Mix it and you will have a mix mixture that you can use as a sort, as a sort of uh, improvised 
or homemade pepper spray. So that's uh, another benefit, even when they are uh, gone rancid. And for the last two sauces, perhaps three sauces, but I don't have the last one. If you want to make some your meat uh, go longer or make it more tasty, I would advise some things that have a lot of sodium in them. So it will be kept longer even without the fridge. I would say a uh, wash. <coughs> yeah, that is one of those things that uh, people, including me, have problems with. Problems with Worcestershire sauce. Uh, yeah, this is very good for your uh, to make beef jerky, and it take, makes it just taste taste a little bit better. Um, another thing is teriyaki teriyaki sauce. And that's it can go by with uh, soya sauce. And those are some sauces that you can use for uh, preserving meat to marinate it and uh, to make it more tasty. And you can reasonably stockpile it for a longer time. Uh, I would advise to do it in a cold, dry, dark environment just to be sure. If you but always put it in the fridge, but if the fridge is not around, put it in your basement or something. So. Yeah, this was it. Uh, this was the video about uh, spices, herbs and sauces, the importance of it for peppers and their stockpiles. Uh, I hope you learned something from this. Uh, leave a like, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Share this video. If you have an other idea from spices and their benefits that, that can be stored uh, for a long time, have has uh, medicinal benefits, try to put it into the comments. I'm always eager to learn and uh, I would say thank you for watching and Cheers.